Hey everyone, so in this video I want to show you a really nice open source project that I found quite a while ago when I searched for open source Windows tools and customizations. It's a file manager that aims to replace your default Windows Explorer and comes with a modern design that fits perfectly in the new Windows 11 look. It also has some very nice features that the Windows Explorer itself doesn't have. So if you like open source projects and you like to customize your Windows experience and powerful applications, just like I do, then you should take a look at the project, Files. I've tested this for a few weeks now because they recently released a new version that is much better and much more polished than the older one. It still isn't perfect though, but we will talk about this soon. First, I quickly want to talk about today's sponsor, Teleport, which is also a fantastic open source project. Teleport is an open source access plane to protect your computing resources with two-factor authentication and audit logging and user access management. It supports SSH, databases, Kubernetes clusters, web applications and in the newest version even RDP access in Active Directories. Very useful to securely access your home lab or even professional server environments. And the best thing is it doesn't cost you anything. So the community version is completely free and open source. I've by the way done a full video tutorial about Teleport in the past so you will find that in the video description down below. Okay, let's go back to files and let me quickly show you the project on GitHub because this is very interesting. On the GitHub page you can read more about this project and of course find the entire source code for it. You can see that the developer call it a file manager for Windows with a powerful yet intuitive design. And it also has a homepage when you go to files.community and there you will get a first impression of this project and the look and feel and uh, some of the features this file explorer has. And to be honest guys, I just believe this looks phenomenal. This is actually how the regular Windows Explorer should look like in Windows 11. When you open it the first time, it looks very familiar. So on the left side, you have the sidebar with your favorite folders and drives, also the cloud drives, network drives, and even WSL2 distributions and the internal file system is available there. And in the main view, you can, of course, just go into your disks and browse your files, just like you would expect this from a file browser. It supports basic things like copy, rename, move or delete and you can also view your files in different styles and layouts, just like small icons, medium icons, details and so on. Uh, but files also has some very nice features that a regular Windows Explorer just doesn't have. For example, it supports multi-tapped windows. And this is something I still can't believe Microsoft hasn't implemented it in the regular Explorer. I don't know why, because this is such an essential feature I believe so many people would need. So I, for example, use it every day. And that's why I already have replaced my default Windows Explorer with a new files application, just because it supports multi-tabs. You can also open a secondary pane inside the main window, which is very comfortable if you want to move files around. You need to enable this feature in the settings menu first, so just go to settings, multitasking and then enable the dual pane view. And then you can open any folder in a secondary pane inside the main window and work in two different folders at the same time. Very, very useful sometimes. One thing that I also absolutely love about this project is, not just it is an open source project, but usually open source projects are highly customizable and so this is the same with files. You can customize most of the look and feel of this application with custom themes and the developers had put uh, some great examples on their official GitHub page, so when you go towards their repository which is called themes. I've downloaded some of these examples and played around with that and of course created my own theme. Because I absolutely love to customize all my applications and change the look and feel of my entire workspace, not just on my Windows 11 but also on the terminal for example. But it's a bit unfortunate that Windows doesn't allow us to change more things in the core operating system and customize our experience, but at least we can now do this with a file manager. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. The Files Explorer is an interesting open source project and I've shown you some of the general features you probably would expect from a good file manager. But there are also some very interesting experimental features, so that means they aren't fully supported yet. They may contain bugs, but these are really some cool things. For example, they support file tags and this is a feature that I really missed on Windows for such a long time. And I haven't really found a great application that supports file tags like it is on macOS. With file tags you can configure different colors and texts you can put on your folders and files. And I hope this would actually solve my organizational problem that I have on my hard drive. But unfortunately this feature 
doesn't work so great. I know it is an experimental feature, so maybe they will update it, but the main problem with this feature is, and it is today, that the file tags aren't stored for any network or removable drives. So for example, if you tag a file and copy it to a network location or to a USB drive, the file tag is always removed. And this is a bit unfortunate because I really would like to use this on files that are stored on my uh, storage system in my home lab. I also haven't found a way to search for files based on these tags, so I may have been too stupid to find it, but I, I think it's just not existing. And this would actually be the reason why I would use file tags, because I would like to search for files based on a specific tag. Anyway, file tags need to be improved. But the main experimental feature though is just fantastic. And this shows the folder size in the main window for every folder that is listed there. At the regular Windows Explorer, if you want to know how much storage a folder really consumes, you would need to make a right click and go into the properties to see how big this folder is, because it needs to calculate all the files in the subfolders inside their directory to give you the actual size of this entire item. And you would need to do that for every single folder in the regular Windows Explorer. But this is exactly what Files is doing in the background for you, so whenever you enable this feature and open any folder, it just calculates the size of all the folders and subfolders and it will automatically show this in the main window. Of course this may take some time depending on how big the folder structure is underneath, but that's really great if you're running out of space and you just want to know what's the biggest folder on your disk and where you can delete some stuff. In the past I've used other tools to do this, for example I used tree size in the past, but now I don't need to do this anymore because my main file manager can do it for me. I just want to say it isn't perfect though, so there are a few bugs or a few things that aren't so great. So I had a few crashes in some circumstances and while this isn't too bad because there's nothing that could be damaged, it still is annoying. <laughs> And there are also some weird problems with the sidebar that for some reason sometimes it doesn't show up or it just takes a long time to load when you start up the application. Also I would love to see a feature like a copy file manager. So when you're copying or moving a file from one location to another, it's shown in a small icon on the top bar where you can just track your background copy tasks. It's nice to have it hidden in this menu, but damn why can't I see how long the copy job will take? And there are also some features that I think aren't finished yet, so like the file tags, we just talked about that. But all of these problems or issues you might have, the good thing about this is that bugs can be fixed and new features can be easily implemented. Even though this project isn't perfect at this stage, I think it is already better than the regular file explorer, absolutely. And this is really impressive in my opinion, because it is just a small open source hobby project and this already has more innovative and more useful features and a much better look than the official application from the Windows 11 manufacturer Microsoft. I mean, this isn't too surprising, because Windows 11 is just a big construction site. Yeah, they introduced a nice and a fancy start menu design and some new design philosophies, but the whole design and the core operating system of Windows 11 is just inconsistent. There are so many parts of the operating system that still haven't changed since Windows 7 or maybe even before that. Anyway, I don't want to bash too hard against Microsoft and Windows, because I think they're really on a good path and it wouldn't be my main desktop operating system if I wouldn't be happy with it. <laughs> but still, I think we need more open source projects on Windows that try to replace some of the core parts of the operating system, like a file manager or some other ones which will enhance the overall experience and usability. I know some projects are existing which try to customize Windows down to the core, but most of them aren't really usable. And I think that has something to do with the closed source of the Windows operating system, even though Microsoft has definitely changed their minds about open source projects and is doing some great ones as well. But I think they need to go a little bit further and open up Windows even more to embrace developers creating great open source applications for it. However, I'm dreaming now. <laughs> I believe the Files application is a great start and I would like you to just try it out because I would really like to see more of these applications. And by the way, if you know any other cool open source projects you want me to take a look at then just put them in the comments down below. I would really like to cover more projects like this here on the channel. It doesn't need to be Windows so it could be also Linux or any web application. Just put them in the comments or send me a DM on Twitter or on Discord and if it is good I might give it a shot. And as always thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.